When using a drone, it is important to be constantly aware of its position relative to the operator or to surrounding obstacles. In this video, I will show you how to use the map and the radar in the Mini 4 Pro and the R3, as well as the new Vision Assist, a very useful safety feature. The map keeps track of the drone position, compared to the home point and the remote controller. On the lower left part of the screen, there is a small yellow-green square. By tapping on it, we access the map, with a blue arrow-shaped icon representing the drone, a large circle with an H in the middle for the home point, and a smaller circle for the remote controller. By tapping on it, the map gets to full screen dimension, and the camera view takes its place. The position is swapped. In the Mini 4 Pro and R3, there is a new yellow H in the camera view, representing the direction of the home point. It is still visible when the map is smaller on the lower left part of the screen. This new icon is another useful tool for keeping track of the operator's position. When flying, the arrow representing the aircraft points in the same direction as the camera. A blue line keeps track of the route traveled. A straight red line connects the drone to the home point, very handy for bringing the bird back home, by turning the arrow toward the home point and advancing in that direction. When the map is at full screen, five icons are on the right side. The first one at the top shows any restriction or authorization zone in the area if an internet connection is available. The second one goes back to the default mode. The third icon places either the drone or the home point at the center of the map, and the blue line disappears. With the fourth icon, the map has north at the top and aircraft in the middle. The last icon toggles to the other map views, including the satellite one. To go back to the normal view with the map in the lower left corner and the view from the camera on the screen, simply tap on the small rectangle in the lower left corner. When the aircraft is far away, the drone, the home point and the remote controller may not be included in this view. But the minus icon at the top right toggles to a zoomed in view, including the three items. Before taking off, the best practice is to wait for at least a dozen satellites to be connected, so that the home point will be very close to the remote controller and the operator. This makes it easier to control the aircraft position and to bring the drone back home. If we fly immediately away, the home point will be at some distance from the remote control, making it harder to keep track of the distance from the operator. So I suggest always waiting for the home point to be updated before taking off. If an internet connection is available, the map shows building and landmarks of the surrounding area. But with the RC2 controller, a connection is rarely available. In this case, the map will only show the position of the remote controller, the home point and the aircraft. There are two ways to access the full maps. It is possible to download the maps of the area at home when an internet connection is available. There is no need to connect the drone. Simply turn on the RC controller. On the GI Fly app, tap on Profile and then on the next page select Offline Maps. We are presented with a map of the world. We can zoom into the desired area. A small window at the bottom specifies the size of the map. We can then tap on the icon to the right to download it. We are then asked to give a name to the map. After tapping on yes, the download starts and we can see the progress. By choosing downloads at the top, we get the list of the downloaded maps. We can access, rename or delete any of them. An alternative is to set up a mobile phone or a tablet as a hotspot to get an internet connection. Switch on the mobile device, turn on the RC controller and swipe down twice to access the menu. On the top right through the gear icon, we access a menu of settings where we can choose an internet connection. The one on the smartphone or tablet should be available.
The radar view is an alternative way of keeping track of the position of the drone relative to the home point and the remote controller. It has two main advantages. It works without an internet connection and maintains the drone, the controller and the home point on the map regardless of the distance. We access the radar from the map view, clicking on the small icon on the lower right. In the default mode, the remote controller is in the middle and the home point and aircraft are at their relative position. If we rotate the controller, we can have it face in the north or any other direction. If we rotate it until the aircraft is at the top of the screen, we are facing the drone, and this is the position that yields the best signal transmission. If the drone moves sideways, its position will be reflected on the map, but if it moves farther away, the icon of the aircraft will always remain inside the circle, no matter how far it goes. If we rotate the nose of the aircraft, the direction will be shown by the blue arrow. It is therefore easy to bring the drone back towards the operator. Simply turn it towards the controller and advance in that direction. The lower half of the radar map has a slightly different color from the top half. When the drone advances and changes direction, or in case of medium to strong wind, the lower part tilts, reflecting the pitch of the aircraft. It is a good way to gauge the strength of the wind. When the drone is tilted upward, maybe because of flying into the wind, the greenish lower part of the radar map moves farther up in the circle. The opposite when the drone tilts down. It is possible to have a different perspective of the radar map by tapping on the white circle at the top left. This time the drone is at the center of the screen. Some user might find this useful, but I prefer to have the controller at the center. Vision Assist is a major safety feature added to the Mini 4 Pro and Air 3 by firmware update. The icon on the lower right corner cycles through Map View, Radar View and Vision Assist. This feature employs the sensors of the obstacle detection system to provide a black and white view of the direction the drone is flying, regardless of the camera's orientation. This is useful when flying laterally or backward with the camera facing forward, as we can get a real-time view of the path of the aircraft with any obstacles on the way. The same applies to top-down shots with the camera facing the ground while advancing, going backwards or moving sideways. The two models have only directional obstacle avoidance, but I prefer to keep it as a last resort tool, so the ability to check the view of the flight direction is a welcome additional safety feature. When flying at high speed in sport mode, obstacle detection is not available. In this case, vision assist is crucial to prevent accidents. By clicking on the icon on the top right corner, we get vision assist in full screen. There are four arrows at the top, bottom, left and right to get a temporary view in one of the four directions. After a few seconds, the view returns to the direction of flight. It is possible to lock one of the four directions by clicking and holding for three seconds on the arrow. When the drone is hovering, a yellow dot is at the center of the screen. When the aircraft moves, it turns into a segment showing the flight direction, its length indicating the speed. Click on this link to watch my video about Return to Home with the Mini 4 Pro and Air 3. And don't forget to hit the like button if you found this video interesting. Thank you.